Hey, hey everyone, it is Sue here. Welcome to my channel. And we are going to continue in Psalm 37. I have something a little bit different that we're going to do today. As you can see, I have pulled out my all of my die cuts and I have some stickers and today we're going to use some inks on the pages and I'm excited to get started. Uh, I'm just going to kind of move all of this off of here. Normally I tend to have things a little organized and I don't today and on purpose I, I don't know. I just don't. <laughs> I don't know. So sometimes you will see me um, double up on my Project Life cards. And that's just because I want to use them. And so in a case like this, I mean, look at how amazing this card is. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one on top of that one. And so this is Psalm... 37 verses 18 and 19 and 18 reads day by day the Lord takes care of the innocent <clears throat> and they will receive a reward that lasts forever they will survive through hard times even in famine they will have more than enough praise God oh my gosh you know what the word is so encouraging isn't it um, and it's it's a living breathing um, word it doesn't apply you know only once in a while it doesn't apply you know just to certain people uh, you know once you are saved this uh, the word as well as the promises of God are available to you. They're there for the taking. They are there for the taking. So I'm going to go ahead and put, you know, before I do that, I shouldn't have put the uh, glue down so quick. I'll probably have to put more on there. I think what I'm going to do since I'm, I'm really just you know, excited to get some color onto the paper. I did not gesso this paper. I had talked about it the last week, uh, last Saturday. You know, I thought about it. I'm just going to go ahead and get some of this fun color around. I don't necessarily want to mix it too, too, too much. This blue is definitely much... Uh, has a lot more pigment in it that's for sure and definitely came out of the dropper uh, much quicker than the pink did so I'm gonna kind of do that and then I'm gonna clean my brush so I can work with the pink and I'm gonna put more pink on here and let's go ahead and <clears throat> get that around. And we're going to make, you know, if worse comes to worse, right? It makes a pretty purple. <laughs> yep, see, here we go. We got purple going on now. That's fine. I'm not going to, I'm not going to worry about it. I like purple. Now, if you didn't want your colors to, you know, make... A third color in this case um, you would have dried the you know either the pink or the blue and then put the other color on so you just wouldn't blend it like I left everything wet and you know I'm okay with that so in fact I'm really liking it not that there's any purple in any <laughs> of the die cuts that I selected, but that's all right. We're going to go with it, everybody, right? <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Oh, that looks very tie-dye-ish, doesn't it? Looks very 70s to me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right, now I definitely have to dry this because I cannot... 
um, glue anything on it. It's pretty wet. So what I do want to mention is I am, after tonight's, well, actually today, I'm recording this at night, but uh, it's, you know, this will post on a Saturday morning. And, um, you know, so once I'm done with this spread, which is going to have kind of a little extra something that we're going to do, but I'm going to then... That, that will be it for me for Psalm 37. So if you want to continue in Psalm 37, please do. Obviously, that's totally up to you. Um, you can do whatever you want, right? So um, go ahead and continue if you wish. I'm going to start <coughs> on Psalm 46 next Saturday. So, I have had Psalm 46 on my heart for, I don't know, just a few weeks now. And I'm anxious to dive into it. And that's what I'm going to do. So, I hope that's okay. Oh, and you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to go back to my Webster's Pages Traveler's Notebook. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to bite the bullet and go back to using the one, the, the notebook that I truly, truly, truly enjoy working in. We're gonna go ahead and get these two verses on here. And I'm just trying to think. See, I think that looks pretty. I'm covering up the middle, which is fine, but I'm getting some of this purple. I'm getting the pink. I like it right there. And then in my usual style, you know, I'll figure out, I'll place different things around the page and kind of figure out what, um, what I want to put on here. So I have, oh, I like that. I like that. I like that. I have a little butterfly. It's pretty. All right. Because I also have um, a lot of blue going on here. So that's going to go with this four by six card. So let me see, let me start separating some stuff here. Okay. So I like this. I like this. I'm going to go ahead and get those pieces down. And then we'll look at the sticker sheets I have sitting next to me. And we will see if I can use any of those. And most of these die cuts that I pulled out are Illustrated Faith. And I always know because on the back of them, <laughs> there's, you know, a, a chapter and, and verse on the back of them. So that's how I know. I think I'll do my outlining now. And then we'll do the special thing next. You notice I'm trying not to say <laughs> what it is. Okay, so what we're going to do that's special is we're going to do a tip-in. Okay, so I'm, do you all know what a tip-in is? Let me explain what a tip-in is. A tip-in is something like this, a card or a page or whatever it is that literally I like to use washi tape to hold it down and it actually turns like a page. It's almost like, almost in this case, adding like another page in here. Um, sometimes a tip-in can be taped here. Oh, maybe I should do that because I could go like this and then we tip it that way. We could do that too. That'd be kind of cool. 
I don't know now. I think I'm going to just do a regular tip in only because I have all of my cards and my verses in order that way. So, um, so that's what we're going to do. And all I do, like I said, is use some washi tape to hold it down and we'll be able to move this just like it's a page. But before we do that, I want to get down here the next two verses, which read verse 20. But the wicked will perish. The Lord's enemies are like flowers in the field. They will disappear like smoke. The wicked borrow and never repay, but the godly are generous givers. So I have this little flower, and again, this is a, an illustrated faith <clears throat> die cut. Oops. We're going to get this little guy down here. He's perfect for that page, right? Look at the colors. The color is just really matches this blue on this Project Life card unbelievably well. Okay, now this one I left a whole lot of room up here because we're going to put some pretty stuff up there. And verse 22 reads... Those blessed by the Lord will inherit the land, but those cursed by him will die. So I'm going to keep this one. No, you know, I'm going to do it more in the middle, but I'm going to do it in a way where I can still try to get this paper clip um, onto you know, really the other side of the page. So let's kind of leave it there and let's figure this out. Okay. So I like that. Could have our little ladybug over here because it's, I think, far enough away from the edge. I like that. Uh, we're going to put the little ladybug. Like she's kind of walking up to the flowers up there. <clears throat> and we're going to do this little flower. I'm just going to wipe the adhesive off of this side because I did put some on there. Oh, I like that, that looks good. Perfect. And we'll get this card on here. And we'll get that down. All right. So should we put this on here or no? I'm still so undecided. Oh, I do like that. I like it right there. I'm going to go ahead and staple that down, and we're going to figure out what we're going to do with the back of this. Okay, so I do have it there. I'm going to do my outlining, and we'll go ahead and even write... You know, our... our our words are our, our points that that jump out at us from the scripture. And what I love is I've been watching other people in their videos and you know we all do it different obviously and um, even like <clears throat> the words or the phrases from the scripture that mean something to us is very different and I just love that. So I'm going to write generous givers. Because again, I can't write anything over here because I'm going to have the washi tape. So I'm going to write generous. And I want to make sure I spell it right. Generous givers. Okay, Ooh, I like it, I like it. Okay, so then on this side, we're going to go ahead and outline. And you can see, I, I you know, I'm not super particular about the way that I outline. Okay. 
All right, I think I'm gonna even outline the card like I did on the other side. Because the background or because this Project Life, the big four by six Project Life card is so busy in color, um, I feel like I need to separate this smaller card from the bigger card. And this reads, those blessed by the Lord will inherit the land, but those cursed by him will die. I'm going to write inherit the land. Inherit the land. I like that. I'm going to do just a little bit of doodling here. And when I do these particular little loopy loopy things, I do each one differently. <laughs> but they look so cute, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. I just kind of make like four loops any which way. And then I'll go ahead and I'll attach it to another one. And I do four loops. I don't know how it comes out looking cute, but it just does. It just does. All right. I like that. And I like that. I think what I'm going to do is double outline part of this. Like that. Okay, I like that. There was like a little extra space down there, so I think that that looks good. So I'll hold this up for you to see, and I'll show you the other side, and then we're going to put this tip in, T-I-P-I-N, tip in, into the Traveler's Notebook. And it's going to go like this. So p different people do it different ways, but I have to tell you the easiest way that I have found, and I've done this many times, and you know what? Sometimes it works beautifully, sometimes it does not. Now, I can tell you that this washi tape is not sticky enough. This happens to be Dina Wakely washi tape, and for whatever reason, it is not feeling super sticky to me. So I'm going to put a little bit of the glue stick on it before I put it down. So I'm coming away just a little bit from the spine. All right. And you're going to go with the washi tape half off and half on to your card or whatever piece of paper you're adding to your journal. So I'm going to go ahead, go half off, half on. And we're just going to push it down. Now, what I never, ever, ever do is I don't go past whatever it is that I'm tipping in. See how that goes, right? Because if I go past it over here, right, if I went past the 4 by 6 card, then it wouldn't be able to go like this because it would be stuck down and it, would, it wouldn't move. So... I'm going to do that. Now, you can put extra washi. So I could put another piece up above. I could put another piece here. And I just might do that simply because there is white there. Um, so I'm going to do that. Just This isn't going to have a purpose except for making it visual, visually look nicer. And because I don't want that little white strip there. So I'm going to actually go like that. All right. I like that. I think that's the perfect washi tape too. All right. That's one side. We have to do the same thing with the other side. So I'm going to use the same washi. And I just do a quick little measurement. And you can decide. Like, So I'm just going to put the hearts this way. You could put the hearts so they're facing that way. I uh, just want to pull it this way just a little bit. Okay. So half and half, half on the card, half off. 
Now I don't think I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna put a, another piece on this side because of the little ladybug, but that's our tip in. See that? What a great way to add something special to your journal. Okay, I'm actually thinking of putting another piece here. I think I will, uh, but, but onto this page here, only because of the way it's sitting on the spine. I kind of feel like it might come off a little bit. So again, I'm just gonna do a quick little measurement Get some more of the adhesive on here. And this piece is going to serve a purpose, right? So it's, I'm just gonna make sure that it's not going to lift up, that this first piece that I put down will not lift up. That's all that is, easy, right? And I can, so this is the last of the Psalm 37 uh, that I'm going to work on. It's, uh, Psalm 20, or verse 23 and 24. Uh, the steps of the godly are directed by the Lord. He delights in every detail of their lives. Though they stumble, they will not fall, for the Lord holds them by the hand. Now, I noticed that this card said one of those days. And I figure, you know what, I'm gonna use it. And I'm gonna cross that off. And I'm going to write every day. And there's a little arrow. I'm gonna go ahead and make that a little darker. So every day, so the steps of the godly are directed by the Lord. He delights in every detail of their lives. Though they stumble, they will not fall, for the Lord holds them by the hand. Love it. Okay, so on this page, I was thinking of adding this little banner. Um, I have this that says heart. We could put that down there. I have this flower, which we can put there. Um, I also had this out. This is also illustrated faith. So is this, so is this. Um, we could do this instead. And I can actually cut a piece off of this banner so that it's not so far down onto the page. So we can just do this, which I like very, very much. And I'll go ahead and cut some of the banner, the top of the banner off. I think that that's super cute. I really cannot wait to work in the Travelers, uh, the Webster's Pages Traveler's Notebook again. I'm really looking forward to doing that. So, you know, leave me in the comments. Let me know. What are you working in? I know some of you have made your own journals um, using like painty papers or, you know, um, you know, just papers that you have in your stash. Let me know. Let me know what you're you're using for your Psalm journal. Okay. Am I gonna put the flower up here? Right like that. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and put this here. I'm gonna just chop some of it off. Let's just go ahead and do that now. I was gonna get it down first, but I think, ah, what the heck. Oops, I have everything sticky to everything. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, and we're gonna put that there. I like that. 
This little flower, I don't know that I, maybe I didn't get adhesive right there. Yeah, okay, good. All right. <clears throat> I like that. I don't think there's really anything else I could add. Like, I would love to add this little flower, but I think it's kind of weird to have a bird in a nest on the ground with a flower next to it. <laughs> Not that I always worry about things like that, but let's look here and see if there's anything that we can add. I have this little, like, leafy thing in a blue. So we can add that. Right there. I like that. Awesome. So let's finish up this page over here. We already outlined it, but I did not write any words on it. Um, I mean, right off the bat, what jumps out at me is day by day, the Lord takes care of the innocent takes care let's start with takes care and I'm gonna write over here takes care receive a reward I can write that so and let's say receive a reward Okay, um, will survive, will survive. So I'm gonna write up here. Will survive. Hard times. Hard times. And famine. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to write it this way. I like that. Inherit the land. I like all that. Okay. So on this page, we need to outline. Um, we'll go around the, the Project Life card. I don't need to go around this. Ooh, uh, directed by the Lord. Directed. By the Lord. So I'm using all different types of font here, and I also like to do that. Ooh, my R. My little funky R with my little psychedelic page directed by the Lord will not fall though they stumble they meaning us they will not all caps fall praise god uh the lord holds them by the hand by the hand uh, by the hand. All right. So I think that these pages are done. Oh, I'm going to stand up here. Hopefully I won't shake the camera. And I'm going to show you these pages. So this was verse verses 18 and 19. I'll kind of hold it up close and go slow. So you can see. 
And then I'll show you the tip-in. All right, so here's the tip-in. Super cute, right? Look at that. Super cute. This is verses 23 and 24 of Psalm 37. So that is going to be it for this journal. That's going to be it for Psalm 37. And like I said, next Saturday, we will start in Psalm 46. And I am excited about that. And I hope you are as well. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for being here. And have a blessed weekend and a blessed week. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you. All right. Bye-bye, everybody.